With that, they're all done setting up, so we're going to toss it on over to Retrovirus 11 with Human Fall Flat. Take it away. All right, so this is Human Fall Flat, any percent. I'm going to be trying my best to do all the hard strats, but I try them a couple times. If they go wrong, then I'll have to kind of just finish the levels. But I'm Retrovirus 11. Jimmy on fire. Yeah, all right, <laughs> so we're ready to go. Okay, in five. Four, three, two, one, go. So this first level is just stair RNG you got to deal with because, yeah, stairs have RNG in this game. Sometimes they'll take your speed away. Sometimes they'll just make you fly off the map. Yeah, it's pretty rough. And then buttons, too. Okay, mansion's done. <laughs> this map... It's, the grass is the main thing here. You gotta climb this wall. Sometimes it doesn't let you up. Okay, that was fine. More stairs. And then that should be good. Okay. Carries just more jumping around walls. That's the thing, this game's supposed to be at puzzles and stuff, but when you speedrun it, it's more like a parkour game. <laughs> Or a platformer? Yeah, you just jump to the end of every stage as fast as possible. This stage is like the only stage where you have to pretty much do it casually because the exit's all the way at the end. But you just try to do it quickly and hope to not fall down here. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. If you have any donations, you can read them off. It's just platforming. I've got a uh, $50 donation from Bomulus here. There is no comment, but thank you so much for the uh, donation. I also have another $25 from Teb. Also no comment, but thanks again for the donation. Okay, this is the first example of extended climbing. You just got to climb this train. So you're normally supposed to push it over and then go around, but you can just climb up stuff because, you know, we got to go fast. <laughs> and then just more stairs to contend with. The real, the real challenge of speedrunning this game. For sure. And doors. This map has, like, the first somewhat difficult jump at the start here, so let's just hope we get it. Okay. That was really good. Uh, oh, this is fine. We're <laughs> fine. Okay, climb the excavator. See, some of the uh, textures in this game have different, like, climbing mechanics where it doesn't want you to climb it. So if you don't climb completely on top of it, it'll just push you down. Luckily, the excavator cooperated, so... This next stage coming up actually has the hardest jump in the game, so hopefully I can get it first try. I'll probably try it twice, but hopefully it just cooperates. And this lock can be mean too. And these bars too, you just gotta bend them with your superhuman strength. Yeah, Bob is really strong. All right, here we go. Good enough. That was pretty good. All right. I'm glad I got that. That's a stressful jump, because if you fall, you respawn, lose like 20 seconds. This stage is more platforming, I guess. You got to climb that water wheel there. You're actually supposed to use the boats to go all the way around the map to get up top, but that's low, so I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Come on, get up there. That should work. Yeah, this water wheel is like completely covered in the textures that it doesn't want you to climb on. So if you don't climb perfectly straight, you'll just slide off the side and then these bad, bad things happen. This is fine. Okay, now we pull the lever, and that's the end of water. Assuming I don't fall off the diving board, but that's good. 
This stage ha used to have the hardest jump, but since we started trying to do the castle jump, this, this one isn't as difficult, but it can still be mean sometimes, so let's just hope it works. That's good enough. If you fall there, it's pretty bad, but... <laughs> so that's, what, two of four of the hard jumps to do? Yeah. So hopefully this keeps smooth sailing. So ideally, we'll just fall straight into the end, but sometimes it's hard. That looks good, nice. Okay, this, this map has a few hard jumps at the start, so let's hope they cooperate. Uh-oh, backwards RNG. Okay, um, all right, that's good. Nice. <laughs> okay, now it's just more platforming to the end, so if you have more donations, feel free. Yeah, we definitely just uh, we want to remind everybody that GDQX is benefiting able gamers. There are millions of people with disabilities who don't play video games without expensive specialized equipment. The Able Gamers charity is helping gamers with disabilities by providing that equipment free of charge. Their mission is to create opportunities that enable play, enable combat, socialize to combat social isolation, foster inclusive communities, and improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. All right, so this next stage is actually the hardest stage in the game because you have to use this ax to fly to the end of the map and most of the time RNG just has it not work. But we'll see. If I can get it to work first try, then it's pretty much ideal. This is like the stage that has the biggest time loss if the axe fails. Okay, got over the first obstacle. <laughs> so ideally you can fly this axe right to the exit zone, but for a marathon, uh oh. Well, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> See, I tried to do the safe strat and ended up falling short. Well, at least I got the axe grab the first try. Okay, this axe is sketchy. It's pretty janky. Yeah, it's like working, but I feel like it wants to fail. <laughs> it's like everything in this game. Yeah. Okay, let's just not fall again. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was, that was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> okay. Just gotta climb the ceiling here. Okay, what are you doing with your arms, Bob? The character's name is Bob. But, okay, yeah. <laughs> Extra safe with these grabs, because don't want to spawn at the start again. And actually, when I submitted this run for GDQX, this was the last stage, and like a week after I got accepted, they added another stage. So my estimate was only for up to this one, but ideally I can finish the, the new stage in under a minute, so hopefully it cooperates. <laughs> and this is just a really tall extended climb. You gotta climb all the way up the shaft until you reach the end trigger, and then you just fall out to start the next level. And I know I'm high enough when the camera starts zooming in on my character. It should be getting pretty close now. Okay, we'll do one more for safety. And this is the last stage. So it's got a hard strafe at the start. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. This jump is actually really difficult because it's like a, a long line. <sighs> well, I got the checkpoint at least. Ideally you just jump to the wall at the end there. <laughs> that looked painful. <laughs> yeah, let's turn around, Bob. Okay. Oh, this is fine. And then once you climb here, you gotta grab a stick, and it's like the same concept as the axe, except for this one you just use to glide opposed to actually fly and gain height. And then you get over here, uh-oh. See, sometimes your guy just doesn't cooperate with his arms and then he won't jump off the stick. 
Come on, grab the stick. I know you're capable. This should be fine. There you go. It's all right. And it'll be time after the loading pops up after I drop out, so I'll say when. I just gotta climb halfway up this, and then it'll be drop. Do one more. That should be good. And time. <laughs> what what was the time? You got a 10.07. 10.07? Aha, oh, just barely overestimate. <laughs> oh well. This is better than you could hope for, considering I had to do an extra stage, so. I thanks everyone. Thanks GDQ for having me. It's been a pleasure. Uh, thanks for coming, Jimmy. Yeah, no thanks for the support. <laughs> and with that, thanks everyone. Thank you, Retrovirus, for that amazing run, especially considering the fact that it got surprise, surprise extension on it. <laughs>